know, having to juggle both full-time work and, you know, taking the kids to school and, or doing school at home was hard. You know, it was very hard. So we just, we made a decision this year to send them because I, I can't do both. There's no way. So, you know, obviously if there's a time where they have to go home, you know, we'll, we'll manage, you know, but um, for now, you know, I'm just going to send them to school and hope and pray for the best and that they stay healthy. So just, just bringing them to school, trying to get them to be normal and do normal things with friends and having that social skills, I think it's very important for them, you know, and just knowing that we, we stay healthy and we wash our hands and, you know, we social distance when we need to. You know, I trust the school and, you know, and I trust the, what we are doing at home and what everybody is doing, that everybody is doing what they need to do to stay healthy and safe. So that was my decision. You know, it's really exciting to have all the kids back. The thing about remote learning that we've missed the most is being with the kids. Um, the kids all seem happy. The staff is really excited and parents seem happy. So right now I'm feeling really good about today. I think based on the science and the information that we have, that we have things as safe as we possibly can within the confines of the building that we have. Uh, and I'm com comfortable right now with the county's percentage of positivity. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're feeling as safe as we can be. And yeah. as we learn more, we'll change things to make things as safe as we can keep them. I believe that kids are more resilient than adults and they adjust a lot easier than we do. And what I saw at Open House is that every kid who came, came with a mask on, didn't argue about it, was okay with it. And we have tried to make sure that we've built in breaks like uh, when they go outside for recess where they can take their masks off and um, we're going to make sure that they drink water throughout the day and get a little bit of chance to remove the mask for um, drinking and then when they eat as well obviously they're going to have to have their mask off. We also know that there are some risks and uh, we're aware of that uh, but we're really excited to be in person with all of our students so we're hoping to keep them here as long as possible.